Yes, this is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Twelve days ago, Occupy Wall Street activist Cecily McMillan was driven to Queens, New York, and dropped off on the side of the road with only a MetroCard after serving nearly two months in jail. McMillan's sentence for allegedly assaulting a police officer was the most severe served by any of the thousands of Occupy Wall Street activists arrested over the course of the movement. To the Occupy movement, McMillan's case had become a symbol of police and judicial overreach. She was sentenced to jail even though nine out of the 12 jurors who convicted her pleaded with the judge for leniency, saying they did not think she should serve any time behind bars. Cecily McMillan was arrested March 2012 as protesters tried to reoccupy Zuccotti Park six months after the Occupy Wall Street movement began. She says she felt someone grab her right breast from behind, swung out instinctively, striking her assailant, who turned out to be a police officer, Grantley Bovell, and leaving him with a black eye. McMillan says she then suffered a seizure as police pinned her down and arrested her. She was later treated for post-traumatic stress disorder. She appeared on Democracy Now! six days after her arrest, covered in bruises, including one in the shape of a handprint above her right breast. I uh, ended a 40-something hours stay in, in jail and ended up with all these bruises. I mean, that's I have an open case, so I, I can't talk more about it. And I'm sure you can tell that uh, it would be difficult for me to remember some things. Um, but uh, I have these. <laughs> That was Cicely McMillan right after her arrest. Her attorney showed photos of her bruises during the trial, but the prosecutors rejected McMillan's claim she was assaulted by police and accused her of making the bruises herself. Cicely McMillan, eventually convicted of secondary assault, faced up to seven years in prison, a prospect that was apparently shocking even to some of the jurors who convicted her, who did not know this during the trial. Uh, the jurors were reportedly barred from researching the case during the trial, including potential sentences. One juror later told The Guardian newspaper most wanted her to do probation, maybe some community service. Well, McMillan was ultimately sentenced to three months in jail, five years of probation. She was released earlier this month, joins us now. Welcome back to Democracy Now! Thank you for having me. So how are you doing? How was um, you spent your time at Rikers? Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's very discombobulating to be out now. Um, honestly, it's hard to return to my even loving and supportive community after essentially creating a family in there, uh, people that really sustained me and people who really understand uh, what it means to have uh, all of your agency taken away, um, to be constantly in a, in a humiliating and oppressive situation, and then to be out here, everything from um, selecting an outfit to uh, learning how to you know, rework the internet is, has been a, a very difficult feat. So the, we didn't get to talk to you um, w when you were sentenced and went to prison. The mm -hmm. response, not only of um, of people outside, but the jurors themselves. What was your response to them? Very rare to write a letter like that to a judge to say, "Do not imprison her." Uh, well, I was very thankful that they did step forward and that they did um, and get themselves organized and step up front on my behalf. Um, I mean, I, I was very shocked um, that, that there was, as, as my lawyer called it, uh, the smoking gun, the, the handprint on the, on the chest with the, with the scratch marks, and the story that I had maintained the entire time versus Officer Boval, who had changed his stories a couple of times. And um, to hear another woman look at you and say, aliens might have well have sexually assaulted you uh, is a form of rape culture that— What do you mean? Uh, well, that, that's what the, the DA said. They said it was more likely that aliens assaulted me than Officer Boval, and uh, essentially said that I was a liar, which is something that women experience all of the time when they try to speak out against their sexual assaulters. And so you went to jail. Yeah. Talk, uh, describe a day in jail. Well, every day uh, is, is, is mostly waiting. You have to wait for up to—I never went to sick call and was there for less than six hours. You could be waiting for up to 12 hours uh, to see a doctor, even sometimes 12 hours, two or three days in a row. Um, there are constant searches where you're made to lay face down, uh, put your hands behind your